Hi guys, today I'm going to do like a planner collection video and I noticed in my last video which was um, my works haul that I was like really boring and I kind of talked like this um, so I kind of wanted to be a bit more myself in this video um, so sorry about the setup and what I'm wearing it's one of those days um, so I'm going to go through my planners I currently have seven planners um, most of them are personal sized, apart from one, so I'm just going to show you each one, they're up here. Um, I just store them in one of these like shelf things that's an Ikea one. Um, so I've got this one which is my hot pink, uh, not fire pack, Webster's Pages, um, and I love this. I don't know why, it's slightly different texture to some of the other um, colour crushes, but I really love how like squidgy it is, that's just a random little thing um, it's kind of set up I don't use it for anything I'm struggling to use multiple planners at the moment I just don't know what to use each one for but this has some of the like original Webster's pages insets already in it um, and the dividers and then the front dashboard is one that I made so there's that one I love I just love the color I'm not I'm, I'm more like a pastel person but this I do love. Um, next one is the light pink um, Webster's Pages, which is pretty empty. I love this, I think I even love this more than the hot pink. Um, but I haven't got a use for it at the moment. It's got a few things in, it's got a vellum sheet, which is getting very creased, and it has um, some note paper. I don't really know what to use this for, but I need to get on and set up my planners because it's March now and I was supposed to do that before the beginning of the year. Okay, so there's that one. I do love this. I love the colour. Super pretty. And then I have my... Oh, I'm just going to end up putting all of these down. Um, the teal. Also the Webster's Pages colour crush. Um, all my colour crushes are personal size. Um, which, to be honest, I think I do prefer A5, but I don't have any A5s. I used to have an A5, um, what was it? Uh, it was a patent hot pink domino. Um, but I sold it because I didn't really like the do the domino style, if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what a domino is, Google it. <laughs> um, this one I store mainly dashboards because if you don't already know, I've got an Etsy shop and I sell dashboards well that's one of the things I sell so I store the ones that haven't been sold in this planner so it's quite pretty and also a page marker um yeah because they can build up to be quite a lot and I like to store them in a planner it gives me another use to and then I have the white Webster's pages which I love Again, I love all my planners. Um, it's got kind of my Christmas setup still in it, and I will use it again at Christmas time or if I find another use before then. I do find that the gold and the white is quite Christmassy to me. But yes, I do really like this. It looks so fancy. I know my mum's got the white um, Webster's pages as well, she uses it every day for work because it looks quite fancy and like professional. Sorry, I'm always gonna... I'll just take the rest of these down. Three more. Um, so I'll show you my last Webster's Pages. This is my caramel one, and this was the first um, Webster's Pages planner I got. And again, this one and the hot pink, they're a bit squidgier, and I really like that. Again, it doesn't really have a purpose at the moment. It's got my last year's setup because at the end of last year I used it as a everyday diary. So it's kind of got that in some of the Webster's Pages inserts. It's got lots of paper clips and pretty things. And I do I don't I didn't think I don't really like orange to be honest. But this looks nice and I like it. I don't know. Not really my colour, but yeah. And then the last kind of what do you call them? ring bound planners um, that I have is this and this isn't very popular but I really love this it's the 
Collins personal planner. Um, Chelsea isn't one of the big brands. And the inserts it came with I sold because they were quite boring and unme. But I use this one as my business planner. Um, I have two businesses. One I've kind of put to the sidelines now um, due to changing hobbies. But I used to have a business where I made and sell, made and sold, made and sold um, horse. where I made and sold, sorry, got totally sidetracked, um, I used to make and sell horse riding equipment and stuff, um, so some of this is set up for that, but I've also made it pretty because if, I, if things are pretty I'm more likely to use them, and I really like using this planner as a business planner because I can put business cards and um, I think that's my loyalty card um, for my old business, just like that, and they slot in there really nicely and a couple of paper clips. And then I also put my stamps um, in here as well because it just makes it so much easier when I'm going to post something and often when I'm posting something it's related to business stuff um, so it's all in one place. I've got some stickers in there, I've got some postcards in there which I send out with orders. Um, it's basically just got like information about my products, like the prices, like all the kind of calculations of how much profit I make and then towards the back it's got my other business or my Etsy shop which is Be Crafting Unicorn I'll leave a link below little um what do you call it? I've forgotten the word self promo that's the one um, it's just got information like that in there and I really like the setup of this planner I've also got like a list pad at the back which is a Webster's Pages one. And I don't know why I really love this planner. I think it feels more like a purse to me because um, if you can't tell it's more like a square shape here. I might do a proper setup video of this one because it's one of my only ones that's set up. Um, it's just a bit square, it's a bit shorter than the Webster's Pages and it's a bit wider. And it's got like a magnetic closure which I love. It just, it's just so satisfying. That's really satisfying, but that's probably just me. Um, yeah, it says that. Oh, and if you didn't notice, I've got a little horse charm on there because I'm all about themes. And then my last planner is my happy planner, which is the one I use um, as my everyday kind of planner. I kind of, I don't really do much to be honest, I'm at school, so yeah. Um, it's kind of just a to-do list it ends up being. But I love the happy planner like layout of the weeks. Um I'll show you one that's decorated. <clears throat> I don't go overboard with decorating. I'll show you this one. I don't really like the spread, but you know, kinda like that. Sometimes you use stamps in it, washi of course. I do sometimes go through phases of like weeks I don't use it. It's kind of a simple layout. I never really have much to write in. Um sometimes I use it. I have a school planner as well, like a boring one that the school provide and um, so I wrote most of my homework stuff in there but occasionally I'll like plan out I had a lot of revision to do over the half term so I kind of wrote a plan of each day what I was going to do and I just love the happy planner I love the size and yeah I do like how you can personalize these a bit easier um, with like ring bound planners but yeah so that is all of my planners um, let me know in the comments below how many planners do you have and if you like this video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Bye!